and welcome back friends. Here are some before shots of my closet for you to look at before it becomes a brand new space. And yes, these are just leftover hooks from where I took a shelf down like 10 years ago and I've been using them to store my necklaces. Yikes, I am very glad those will be gone. I started by chalk painting my vanity, which was an outdated cherry color, and I had some leftover chalk paint from when I did my dining room chalk painting project, and so I just decided to use that. And if you'd like to know how I chalk paint my furniture step by step, at the end of this video I will link the chalk painting tutorial um, as well so that you guys can see that if you're interested. And I picked up these little decorative shelves for the wall and they were white but I decided to paint them in the same chalk paint gray color just so that they would stand out a little more on the white wall. I'm trying to make this room a little more aesthetically pleasing than just a regular closet because it's serving three different purposes for me right now. It is a place where I store all my clothes but it's also my vanity slash beauty room where I do my hair and makeup and lately it's also been sort of an office because I do my YouTube planning content in here and I use the vanity as a desk and I also record all my voiceovers in here. So it has become a very multi-use room for me and I'm spending more and more time in my closet. So I really wanted to make sure that it was a space that I truly enjoyed being in. And I have to say that so much more work went into this closet than I was anticipating. Um, the walls were in pretty bad shape so I decided to spackle them and sand them and then I realized that I would have to paint and so I had some ceiling paint in my garage and I ended up using that just to kind of go over. Thankfully I keep rollers and paint supplies and all that kind of stuff in my garage on my shelves. I don't know if you guys got to see my garage organization video but everything is so easy access now and I was able to just go in there grab what I needed and come paint the closet. If you're new here, my name is Jenny and I'm married to Tony and we have three kids. My channel features cleaning, organizing, decorating, and other home and lifestyle topics, but from the point of view of a wife and mother who's struggled with various types of mental illness for over 20 years now. My passion is to share with you all the tips and tricks I've learned over the last 20 years that allow me to manage both my mental health and my home environment. So whether you have a mental health diagnosis yourself or if you just feel overwhelmed or stressed out from time to time at the thought of creating a clean and calm home for yourself and your family, my channel's for you. I hope you feel like you have a friend here in me because you do. And if you are new, please introduce yourself in the comments. I would love to get to know you better. So after I swept up all of the sheetrock dust, I saw some paint splatters on the floor and so I just grabbed my go-to cleaner as a mom, the baby wipe, and went ahead and got the paint splatters up and we are getting closer and closer to the fun part. Now, everything that was in the closet that I had to take out to paint, I went ahead and kept so that you guys could see me go through it all and declutter it. Um, I didn't want to just make it disappear like magic like they do on TV because real life is not like that. I still had to go through everything and some of it just needed to go into the garage. So I went ahead and brought those things into my garage and put those away. Other things just needed to be thrown away and then there were certain other things that were going to go back into the closet after they were cleaned off. And the gray laundry basket that I was using to put all my dirty clothes in got upgraded to a real hamper. And if you're like me and have a bunch of different cute scarves but rarely wear them because you're intimidated by all the different ways to tie them, I would recommend Lenny's Love and Chaos. She is a friend of mine on here and she has a scarf tutorial that has like 11 different ways to tie a scarf and they're all super easy and so I'm finally wearing my scarves again which is great. And after cleaning off this top shelf, I decided to place all my shoes up here as well as my vacation bag, my hat, and my briefcase. And now I'm going to hang up my wedding dress and the rest of my clothes. I wish I could have filmed when I created my fall and 
winter capsule wardrobe for you guys, but I hadn't even started my channel yet. But I do have a fall and winter capsule wardrobe, which is why I didn't have to do any clothes decluttering. And it makes all the difference in the world. I love having a capsule wardrobe because I always have something to wear and I am enjoying my clothes so much more. So if you guys haven't done it, there are plenty of videos on YouTube. I would highly recommend looking up capsule wardrobe and getting that started. And I keep these bins in my vanity and one has just other kind of beauty supplies and the other one has makeup. So I'm just going through them and just pulling out stuff that I don't use or stuff that needs to be thrown away and making sure that everything that's in the bins is the stuff that I'm using. So now that the clothing part is taken care of, we are now moving on to the beauty room area of the closet. And I added in this full length mirror, which will be really nice to have in here when I'm getting dressed. And I'm hanging this piece in my new closet slash office because it reminds me of an important life lesson. Some of you already know that my husband Tony has muscular dystrophy and even though it affects his hands, he still draws beautifully. Years ago, I asked him why he always draws with a pen instead of a pencil. He said it's because when you make a mistake, you're committed to it. You have to make it work in the picture somehow. And through that process, you become better. So this drawing just reminds me that it's okay to make mistakes. They're part of your story. Let God redeem those parts that you'd rather leave out and watch him write the beautiful story of your life before your very eyes, mistakes and all. So I love having this reminder here every day where I can see it and it can encourage me. You're the one who can make it go and this little mini closet makeover was definitely done on a budget. The mirror I got at Walmart for $6 and the hamper as well came from Walmart. I believe it was $15. The little shelves that I put above my vanity were two for 20 at TJ Maxx. And I did get a couple little decor items to put on the shelves that I also got at TJ Maxx. But the whole project only cost me about $50 because I already had the paint and the other supplies. Yeah, it feels like you're the one who saves me. And I found this lamp in the baby's closet. It used to be in his room before we got him a lamp that matched his room. And I thought it looked really cute in here, so I went ahead and added it in. And these are some supplies that belong in the bathroom, so I'm just gathering them together and bringing them over there. And then under Tony's picture, I am hanging this little hook strip, and that is where my necklaces are gonna go now, which I think is a big improvement on how they were stored before. I can't see And let's just look at this before footage one more time so we can appreciate this makeover. Y'all, I am so loving my new closet. It's such a clean and calm space for me to spend time in and get ready and do my work, and I have just enjoyed it. It was totally worth all the effort. If you enjoyed this video today, please give it a thumbs up. That helps my channel out so much. And if you love this kind of content and enjoyed this video and want to see me again, please hit the subscribe button on your way out because I would love to see you again. And I would love to get to know you down in the comments, so please introduce yourself there. And thank you again for watching, and I just hope you guys have a wonderful day. And don't forget, January is the month of decluttering and organizing on my channel. So I still have one more decluttering video to share with you guys in just a couple days. So make sure you're subscribed so you don't miss out on that video, and I will see you then.